the Adepta Sororitas Vehicles. First, the Sororitas Rhino. The Rhino Personnel Carrier is the most common transport vehicle at the disposal of the Sisters of Basel, allowing units to move swiftly to where they are most needed, be it to seize an objective or strike deep into the heart of an enemy force. This tried and tested vehicle is famously robust, easy to repair, and utilized extensively by the Imperium's most elite fighting forces such as the Adeptus Astartes and the Adeptus Sororitas. The Rhino is fully capable of interacting with power armor, recharging power cells, and downloading tactical battle information as troops are transported into the thick of battle. Rhinos, like all Sisters of Battle vehicles, are bedecked with holy symbols and relics in addition to military insignia denoting squad and order markings. The door hatches of the Order's Rhinos are often emblazoned with the Sigil Sororitas, the icon of the Sisters of Battle. Next, the Immolator. The Immolator battle tank is a design exclusive to the Adeptus Ministorum, based upon the ubiquitous Rhino chassis. Immolators carry deadly but short-ranged, twin-heavy flamers that cleanse the battlefield of all but the toughest of foes. The sight of such a tank rumbling into sight has disrupted more than one enemy battle line as warriors try in vain to evade an immolator's fearsome inferno. Sisters of Battle favor boulders, flamers, and melters to eradicate their enemies, the so-called Holy Trinity of Weapons. As a result, some immolators are armed with a pair of tank-busting multi-melters instead of the traditional heavy flamers, whilst others mount heavy boulders to cut down enemy infantry formations at range. Immolators are tactically versatile vehicles, and the tank of choice for many Sororitas commanders, for in addition to their prodigious armaments, their armored hulls can carry squads of battle sisters, deploying them onto vital objectives, and then supporting them with heavy weapons fire. The Exorcist An Exorcist is one of the Adepta's most unique weapons of war, a vehicle that unleashes volleys of explosive, armor-piercing judgment upon the foes of the Imperium. They are, however, unpredictable machines that are only vaguely understood by the tech priests who must continuously service them. Many exorcists have been in service since the Age of Apostasy, further adding to their erratic nature. The exorcist missiles fired by these revered vehicles are capable of splitting open enemy battle tanks or destroying entire squads of heavy infantry in one punishing salvo. Provided, of course, that the exorcist's temperamental machine spirit does not malfunction. Most vehicles in the Sisters of Battle's armory serve multiple purposes, for in addition to being weapons of war, they are mobile shrines adorned with devotional icons and carvings. The Exorcist is perhaps the most ornate example of this. Each is an individual work of art whose battlefield role of providing devastating long-range fire support is secondary to its significance as a potent, divine symbol of the power and glory of the Ecclesiarchy. And, of course, the Penitent Engine. Penitent Engines are towering bipedal vehicles that rampage through the enemy's battle lines, leaving death and carnage in their wake. 
The machine's arm-mounted flamers blaze a trail of fiery destruction as they thunder towards their foes, and their gigantic, razor-edged buzz saws carve through armor, flesh, and bone with every frenzied swipe. To be a pilot of a penitent engine is to have committed a terrible crime, one so heinous that punishment such as imprisonment, exile, arco-flagellation, or execution is deemed too lenient. Many of the unfortunates sentenced to pilot a penitent engine were once members of the Ecclesiarchy, priests fallen from grace, or battle sisters who have, through failure of duty or faith, caused the deaths of their fellows. A multitude of wires and chemical injectors are implanted into the condemned pilot's spines, and when they are not ripping through the ranks of their enemies, lances of pain and images of guilt shoot directly into their brains, reminding them of their sins. Driven by their pilot's frantic need for forgiveness, penitent engines charge towards the closest foe in sight, heedless of any danger, knowing that only in death, theirs or the enemies, can forgiveness finally be earned. Penitent engines often charge into battle beside the ranks of the Order's militant. The Sisters of Battle consider it their sacred duty to witness these great machines in the fires of combat, observing the actions of their fallen brothers and sisters as they atone for past sins and seek redemption. Ecclesiarchy Relics Ecclesiarchy Relics are items of incredible rarity, holy artifacts and revered tools of destruction that the Ecclesiarchy will go to any lengths to recover and protect. Such is their spiritual provenance that they are powerful weapons in the hands of the faithful, and in extreme circumstances they will be entrusted to the warriors of the Adeptus Ministorum. Only one, each of the following relics, can be chosen per army. The Blade of Admonition. This blessed power sword is the very blade carried into battle by Alicia Dominica, the founding saint of the Adeptas Sororitas, and was famously used to cut the head from the arch-traitor, Gorge Vandaya, and bring an end to the reign of blood. Saint Dominica wielded this blade in the decades following the reformation of the Ecclesiarchy, and a thousand more false prophets and heretics were slain upon its razor edge before Alicia's eventual martyrdom. The silver blade was recovered and polished to a mirror finish, and it is said that one who looks upon it can see the reflection of their own soul. Those who wield the sword cannot therefore fail to compare their worthiness to that of Saint Dominica, and so strive to emulate her peerless example. Then, the Cloak of Saint Aspira. Canoness Saint Aspira of the Order of the Bloody Rose led her battle sisters in a war of faith that liberated nearly 100 worlds from the grip of the blasphemous tyrant Deneskura. At the inception of the war, Aspira was presented with a magnificent cloak blessed in the ecclesiarchal palaces of Terra. Whilst this, in and of itself, marked the cloak as a treasured relic, small shards of the Emperor's own armor were woven into it to ward away the blows of the enemy, elevating it to a sacred garment of incomparable spiritual significance. Saint Aspira wore the cloak throughout the War of Faith, striding into the fray heedless of her own safety, secure in her unwavering knowledge that the Emperor protects. The Mantle of Ophelia 
The mantle of Ophelia was once the badge of office for the prioress of the convent, Sanctorum, and was worn by Helena the Virtuous, a living saint and one of the most revered leaders in the history of the Adepta Sororitas. The mantle is thought to have sacred powers of protection, for Helena was said to have anointed it with the tears of the Emperor. A phial of blood-like liquid meticulously collected over a century from weeping statues of the Emperor found across the cardinal worlds of the Imperium. The Sacred Banner of the Order Militant Each of the six great orders militant possesses a single ancient battle banner passed down through the generations from the time when their order was first created. It is said that several strands of hair taken from each of the order's founding saints are woven into these sacred banners, and as such, their divine provenance is beyond doubt. Each banner represents the heritage and history of their respective orders, and the honor of carrying one is granted only to the most faithful and accomplished members of the Sisterhood. They are proudly born to war, and the battle sisters who fight beneath their shadow are inspired to greater feats of glory, redoubling their efforts and refusing to retreat. The Rod of Grace The Rod of Grace is a melee weapon, similar to a space marine chaplain's Crosius Arcanum and wielded by Helena the Virtuous in battle. The Rod of Grace is covered with a shimmering force field, however, this field is much more powerful and can be focused into a beam to strike at a distance. And the Scepter of Vengeance. The Scepter of Vengeance was the huge, heavy power mace wielded by Saint Ophelia in hand to hand combat. Its head is wreathed in a shimmering flame which leaves a trail of fiery sparks as it swings through the air. <laughs> 